You know, BMI or body mass index is kind of a crude way to measure whether or not you're overweight. It's really just how much you weigh versus your height. But where you carry any extra weight turns out to be a better way to assess how much of a health risk those extra pounds might be causing. For BMI purposes, I fall right in the normal range. My weight has been normal for the past 25 years. Not only that, but Susan Reed bikes and kayaks. Her diet is mostly vegetarian. So imagine her surprise when her doctor told her she had a fat problem. Your weight in pounds does not necessarily reflect how much fat you have, nor does it reflect where the fat is located, which is really the risk factor that we're interested in. And doctors now realize that not all fat is created equal, at least not when it comes to your health. Fat in your hips, fat in your legs, that's usually storage fat, not metabolically active. But fat in your belly causes inflammation in the rest of you, especially in those organs. A recent study found that the number of people with excess abdominal fat is actually much higher than the number of people deemed obese and overweight by BMI measurement. And that excessive abdominal fat is what leads to a heightened risk of chronic disease, reduced quality of life, and an increased risk of death, regardless of a person's BMI. Here's a simple way to tell if you have excess abdominal fat and therefore are at elevated health risk. The best measuring device is actually a tape measure. Put it at your belly button, put it around yourself, suck in, you will anyway, and that number should be half or less of your height. Now men, by the way, tend to store their extra weight in their bellies, what we sometimes call a pot belly or a beer gut. That apple shape is more dangerous than where women tend to store fat, that's around their hips and bottoms, the so-called saddlebags that are known as a pear shape. And by the way, a good example of how BMI or why... Stuff we didn't want to talk about. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was hoping you'd let that go. <laughs> a 